a really dark color. So I need to bring that forward and just kind of blend it out a little bit. And just kind of built up the brow a little bit. This is all leftover. That's how, how pigmented this color is. Look at the difference in the brows. It's just, and this is very wimpy, and this is more um, dominant. Now, because I just put this back into the pan, I need to go on the skin first and then go back through the brow because it's a little too dark to go through unless it's, unless it's kind of the leftovers like it was on the other eye. So we will. Brady wants so bad for me to quit and go play with her. <laughs> now I'm going up and down now and just kind of strokes like if this were um, an eyebrow pencil, you know? Just kind of building this up and kind of just building the brow. I'm not going to do much more than that today. It's hard to tell on camera. I say this almost every time because I never know what my brows look like. And I've noticed a lot of people do the brows off camera on YouTube. It's because they're hard. They're hard to do. It's hard to get them even. And then all of a sudden you look back at the tape later. If you're reviewing your tape, it's like, oh my gosh, my brows look terrible. You can't tell. Okay, so this, I think this is a great palette to keep in your purse. Um, it comes with these two little sponge applicators with little CCs on them. I dropped one of them and I've never found it since, but that's okay. I typically don't use those. But if you keep it in your purse, you can. This is the Chanel Lip Intense Ultra Wear. And it's named so for good reason. Oh gosh, now she's starting a thing. I gotta show y'all this. It's probably somebody delivering some things. I ordered some Chanel product, backup product. Uh, and I ordered two um, TARDIS pins from Ulta. Two, okay? Two TARDIS. Right? So that is this product I'll show you. Now I'm putting on the high gloss. It not only sets the product, also moisturizes your lips and gives a very high shine. I love, love, love. Of all my products that I love, I love this product. I cannot see ever switching away from it. But I used to say that about the um, No Tug Waterproof Anti-Aging Gel Eyeliner by It Cosmetics. I still like that. But I've switched to this TARDIS. Now let me tell you something about this. On one end, it's the crayon. I'll just do this. It is every bit as smooth, and because it's a gel waterproof, it just goes on so easily. And it stays on as long as any of them can, I will say that. It doesn't stay on all day. I mean, it kind of does, it's just not as intense towards the end of the day. But what do you expect? At some point, you wonder if something's that good and that intense. Is it healthy to be on your eye all day long? All right, so now because I have gone ahead and I have blended out the powder color, I'm going to go ahead and do the liquid liner. And what I like about this is it is a little thicker, and it's not a um, brush. It's a pen. But what I have grown to love about this is it is a little easier in the sense of because it's thicker, as long as I'm careful. Bree, honey. It kind of gets it all in one swoop. Like I said, because it has no give in it because it's a pin, it is kind of hard to get the line. I will tell you that. But that's the look of it. This is another thing that's hard to get exactly right. And y'all know I go more straight across because as you get older your uh, 
the hood, your lid, this area right here drops. And if you literally almost draw a straight line, it will still, because that skin drops, make it look like that. See, I went too low over here. And not straight enough. Now, some of you are going, Beth, now you have two tails. It's okay. I'm going to draw them together. See how I kind of drew them together?